Hello and welcome to the Titan City Project. I will be going through this with my thoughts on the criticism. So here we have a pretty plain title screen. I'm going to assume that will be replaced by the time the game is completed. 14 different playable characters. Now, I don't know how that's going to work out in the end. Like, that is a lot compared to 2, 3, or 4. Now, this does have its benefits. If you're going for a world, like a really complex world, and you want the player to like learn all about certain places and certain things, and it's it's about the world building, not exactly the character building. Then okay, but you're gonna have to you're gonna have to be honest and be like, okay, well, 14 characters, all these characters are gonna be good at best, mediocre at worst, and you're gonna have to you're gonna have to really flesh out like say one of them. Like this guy is the only character that's playable in the demo. Make it the only playable character at the start. And then and then allow me to unlock characters later on because if you give the players so many choices, odds are a lot of players are going to choose one of the weaker choices that don't really define the game very well, and then that player will be turned off from the game because they don't know what the fuck is going on. It's going to be hard to make all fourteen of these characters add up to a very nice story. It just will be. So you're going to have to be pretty pretty on the ball about that. Other than that, it's it's a pretty good idea. I'm I'm interested to see how you pull it off. Definitely, I believe the U in Yo is cut off. You might want to give me a guide or manual that's in my inventory, just in case I forget what some of these stats do. You can make said manual by creating an item that can't be consumed, and every time I use that item, it activates a comet event, which will tell me about certain stats. Also, if I decide to reset everything maybe you should shoot, maybe you should give me another option saying are you sure you want to reset just in case i press that accidentally and reset all my things because it does take a bit of time to allocate all my points you spelled reflex wrong throughout is spelled wrong raises is cut off a little bit okay so so far i i, I like the customization but this game suffers from what i'm going to call moral win skill creep and by that I mean you have so many skills that the player right now is going to be like, what? What is the best choice? Like, how am I supposed to use this? A lot of these skills are not generic to RPG Maker games. And by that, a lot of players are going to feel a bit uncomfortable trying to choose these. You're not really showing these abilities off in a in a good in a good way because at the moment a lot of players especially players who don't play RPG Maker games are gonna not know what the fuck they're doing and it's gonna be very easy for them to screw up your, their characters unless the game is very 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 easy which would also be pretty bad sign so this is gonna be a little bit well you're gonna have to simplify this okay so let's go over here for example look how many skills there are for reflex got brawling, bows, crossbows, handguns, heavy weapons, critical strikes. I'm actually going to take that because it's not a specific weapon. And then we got Kung Fu, Melee. Kung Fu, what does that do? Okay. Ugh. And the menus are also kind of ugly to go through and navigate. And brawling, kung fu, melee, why don't you take those three skills and put them together? Make this, simplify this. I mean, I know players are gonna be like, hey, I love complex character creation. Yeah, yeah, that's great. But the problem is that it's going to confuse a lot of people, especially for games that don't run on nostalgia like Morrowind or Dagger. I, know that, I don't know if this game is influenced by that or not, but I'm just using that as an example of a free roaming game. But yeah, you're going to have to be careful. And 13 other characters? 13 characters with this type of customization. I'm an ambitious person when it comes to projects, and I think that is ridiculous and over the top. You have so much work to do if you want to balance that. So much. As a hobbyist game developer, I don't think it's worth it. You would want, you really want to simplify this a whole lot, and also going into the stats a little bit. I really didn't know what I was doing. I I just put a whole lot of points of intelligence and reflex, and made my luck to five because why not? I was hoping that 
since my intelligence is pretty high, I'll be able to hack things really well. But I don't know. I might remake my character and balance it out a little bit more if that doesn't work. But I really don't know how to play this game. I haven't played it yet. I don't got an idea of how it works. And a lot of players are going to feel very confused at this point. So, yeah. What's tech points? And the American dollar. Awkward first sentence, by the way. But, uh... I'm not a huge fan of how the text cuts itself off, like you you make such long sentences that it goes off of the box right here and into another box, and that kind of confuses me. I, I would like it if you could stop the sentences in a specific dialogue box so it's easier to read and pay attention to. There's too much of a space between alone and soon, also follow and the American. You might want to fix that. Heavily augmented super salties. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> well, that sounds delicious. You're telling but not showing. I would like to see some pictures of what's going on in the story. Take this, comma, punk. That guy to the right couldn't have popped up on the screen a little bit more elegantly. You seriously couldn't heal me after I allocated all my skills? Seriously? Can I use this in battle? Is that is that allowed? What does this do? Huh, 17 damage. Okay. Huh. Actually, I take back what I said from the last post. Because Johnny Lee was fighting all those people, it kind of makes sense that he has low luck and health. But it does kind of suck because I've allocated so many points to this stupid stat. Armor is just spelled wrong if you're American. Map glitch. You're in my way, sir. You're in my way. Freaking little motherfucking bastard. I wish I could just kill this stupid rat. Yeah, put an event- <sighs> Go to hell. Put an event right here, so the rat can't do that. Or a mouse, or whatever. The random battles in this game are ridiculous. You screwed up the eventing for these doors. It's also pretty awkward. You might want to fade in- You might want to, excuse me, fade out and then fade back in. Also, don't teleport me right here, because this is the- Actually, no, never mind. If I look back at the door, I teleport back, so never mind about that. Uh, what I was about to say is usually a good idea for you to teleport me right here, so if I walk back, I can go out the door easily, but you don't have to worry about that. You think you did it well. But the random battles in this game are ridiculous, dude. Jesus, that's expensive. This does nothing. I don't know why. I recommend putting an event on the front side of this car and the back side, so my character can't walk on it, on it like this. And make the event like follow the car. Like you have three events: the actual car and the events on the sides of the car, that are the same layer as the player. So this doesn't happen. It's just very, very awkward. But I like the eventing going on here. I like how the car is. Oh my god, really? I'm on the street, dude. You you decide to just run randomly and attack someone like that. Uh, but I digress. I like how you evented the cars and how they stop at certain lights and then move on when other cars pass by. Very good. It starts raining before I go outside. What you have to do to fix that is fade out, teleport me, then activate the rain, and then fade back in. What? I didn't know the ATM was Jesus. Why isn't the background different if this is supposed to be the network? I managed to nullify God's magic. Magic exists in this game? And by that I mean there's a script that gives you a whole lot of logs. It's one of the first scripts and it gives and it basically says, okay, y you know, all of the information that pops up, like you have evaded this, you have nullified that, it said I nullified magic, and magic doesn't exist in this game, it's like some type of tech, so you want to change that name. Whoa, the transition from day to evening, it was super awkward. It just went from, it's two worlds crap here. It went from daytime, which actually kind of looks like nighttime, to this really, really ugly evening color. This brown, sopia tone that just doesn't look right. Another text caught off. Alright, so I decided to end the feedback video for now. First of all, I will be following this game because I am interested in how it will play out. But as a demo, I don't really think it did very good. Uh, I was sort of turned off by the game right around the point where you started giving me all of these customizations. 
40 player characters with all of that customization a lot of it is unnecessary and needlessly complex the the fact that you the fact that i have to the, how, fathoming the fact that you have to balance all of that makes my brain hurt it really does i i, I can't believe you would try to balance all of that it, it would be really really difficult and it's like as a player i'm like oh do i really have to do all of this stuff why if you have 14 characters why can't i just select a character who has specific stats and use those stats in a creative way okay so this guy can hack give me hacking mini games give him special skills make him unique compared to the other characters there is no way you can make 14 unique characters with 14 completely unique skill sets that is impossible and it's like uh I don't I, I just don't think you could pull that off so what I suggest is keep the 14 character player characters that's not a terrible idea you want to lower that you can but as a as skill allocation I, I just recommend you simplify it and just give me a specific amount of skills so say he's good at hacking which I got stuck on by the way I, I, I didn't have enough hacking sp attack power so I I couldn't hack through the first dungeon but never mind about that I I would like it so that he has specific stats that complement the cer a certain design and player and how he plays like every character plays differently pretty much and if he's all about hacking just Johnny Lightspeed type of character make make a whole lot of interesting and fun mini games around hacking the skill allocation is unnecessary and it, all it will do is bog down your game and make it very 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 difficult and very hard and not fun frankly to balance and code correctly also not to mention how ugly and unprofessional the dialogue boxes and dialogue choices were compared to a script i i know script is pretty hard but uh yeah, it, it just going through all those skills and trying to allocate certain points and then losing out on other points because I didn't allocate all my skills and it teleports me to a new map. Uh, it was a bit of a mess. I just didn't like that entire portion. Also, there was some spelling errors that kind of turned me off. The, the mapping, though, was actually pretty good. I liked the mapping so far, though you have to be a bit more on the ball with rate effects if you fade out and fade back in it's nice it's a nice transition and it gives you time to change weather effects and rain and all that jazz okay and the music it was okay i don't know if it's custom made or not it was it was good and the story i i didn't go through the game long enough to really get anything out of it I mean, it doesn't make that much sense that some random girl would heal me, because it's like, okay, so somehow she managed to heal me with a $20 med pack. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Heal all my luck and all my HP. And then it's like, okay, that's cool, she healed me, but who the fuck is she? She didn't even give me her phone number. And it's like, okay, that's great, but and then also, by the time I stopped playing the game, with all of the random encounters... I literally made I literally probably knocked out or killed 20 people on the street just because they randomly decided to attack me while I was running into cars looking for map errors and it was like okay that's great too it's I wonder where that girl is now she has a, a pretty big job on her hand I mean oh my god the, the amount of damage I'm doing to these people but yeah the, the, the actual story is okay for a sci-fi I, I am interested to see how it pulls off. Like I said, with all the 14 characters, it does add a whole lot of potential for world building. It's just, you'll have to pull it off a little bit better. Okay, so yeah, pretty much to sum it up, fix your skill creep. That's pretty much it. I'll probably link a tutorial on that because I actually watched a pretty interesting video on how adding too many features can ruin, break or break a game. So I'll, I'll do that when I submit this as media. And like I said, I'll be following this project to see how it progresses and whatnot and what you do with everything. Sorry I couldn't complete the entire game, but yep. Anyway, I hope this helps. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, good luck.